strange machines that serve even stranger purposes, here are 15 of the most unique machines. Number 15, Straddle Launch. The Straddle Launch aircraft is the largest plane in the world, but this isn't designed for ordinary passengers or cargo. It has a wingspan of 385 feet, which is so wide that it requires two fuselages to fly safely. And with a maximum takeoff weight of 1.3 million pounds, it's more than capable of fulfilling its intended purpose to provide a high altitude launch platform for space vehicles. Each fuselage is 238 feet long and has 14 landing gear wheels, but only the cockpit of the right one has a flight crew on board. The other is left unpressurized. There are six Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines which each provide 56,750 pounds per foot of thrust. And many of the systems used for flight control have been borrowed from those of the Boeing 747-400. Number 14, the big wind. Even though modern technology for extracting oil from the ground is much safer than ever, there's always a risk that the well might catch on fire. When this happens, something much more powerful than an ordinary fire engine is needed to help extinguish the flames. The Big Wind is an ingenious solution to this problem that was built by Hungarian engineers during the Cold War. They took a T-34 tank and attached two Tomonsky R-25 engines to it, which are usually found on MiG-21 jets. Pipes were also installed that released water through the nozzles above the jet outlets, and this meant the machine could move 220 gallons of water per second, which was instantly turned into a spray of steam. The spray is propelled forward at 770 miles per hour, which is around the speed of sound and is more than capable of handling oil well fires. Number 13, Komatsu D575A. The Komatsu D575A is the largest model of bulldozer that's available in the world and it's a beast. The machine is 38 feet and five inches long, 24 feet, three inches wide, and has a height of 16 feet. The single shank ripper allows it to dig to a depth of six feet, nine inches and the vehicle is able to move up to 125 cubic yards of material in one pass. This is the go-to machine for surface mine operations in the US, Canada, and Australia. And with a 12-cylinder four-stroke engine that produces 1,150 horsepower, it's an absolute workhorse. Number 12, Prelude FLNG. Prelude FLNG is operated by Royal Dutch Shell and is the world's largest floating liquefied natural gas platform. It's designed to be able to move across the gas fields to drill wherever the optimal position is and has even been constructed to be able to withstand Category 5 hurricanes. The vessel is 1,601 feet long, 243 feet wide, and 344 feet tall and requires a crew of over 220 to operate. More than 260,000 tons of steel were used to build it at a cost of more than $10 billion, and when fully loaded, it displaces five times more weight than a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. Number 11, the Sub. The Sub is the largest pinball machine to have ever been built and was created as a promotional campaign for Heineken during the Milan Design Week in 2014. It was 53 feet 9 inches long, 24 feet 7 inches wide, and 34 feet 1 inch tall. And when not being used as a pinball game, it doubled up as a fully functioning beer lounge. A new style Heineken sub keg was used to launch the giant balls into the machine, and it had all of the flippers and bumpers that you would expect, along with a scoreboard at the rear. Next time you see someone who has their own pinball machine at home, just remember what they could have done if they were really committed to fun. Number 10, the Taisun Crane. The Antai Raffle Shipyard in the Chinese province of Shandong is where some of the largest oceanic vessels in the world are built. And to support this construction, it makes sense that it's also where the world's largest crane can be found. Known as Taisun, it was designed to lift huge modules into place onto ship hulls and is rated for weights of up to 20,000 metric tons. In 2008, it set a record for the largest weight ever lifted by a crane at 20,133 metric tons which is almost double the previous record. The crane itself is 436 feet tall, 400 feet wide, and has a maximum lift height of 260 feet. And amazingly, to be able to do this, it has more than 31 miles of wire rope throughout. Number nine, John Deere Timberjack. Logging can be a laborious job, mainly because many of the trees that need to be cut down are on irregular terrain that makes vehicle access tricky. 
In the 90s, a Finnish subsidiary company of John Deere came up with a solution, though, called the Timberjack. The walking machine has six articulated legs that ensure it always has a stable footing, and as a result, it can move in any direction it needs, and can even walk over objects that lie in its path. Hundreds of sensors feed data into its onboard computers to continually monitor ground clearance and speed, so an operator can steer it by just using one joystick. Reaching up from over the rear is a crane that can be fitted with various modules, such as a chainsaw or grabber claw, which means it's an all-in-one solution to any lumberjack needs. Number 8. Bertha When authorities in Seattle decided they needed a new tunnel beneath the city to replace an important state route that saw up to 110,000 vehicles a day, they realized there wasn't a machine on Earth that could do the digging required, so they designed their own. Known as Bertha, the tunnel borer had a cutter head that was 57 and a half feet in diameter, and the machine itself was an astonishing 326 feet long. With a weight of 6,700 tons, it cost $80 million to build and remains the largest tunnel machine ever constructed. It began digging along the 1.7 mile route in 2013, and despite being delayed by two years after a crucial component broke, it had finished carving the tunnel by 2017. As it was developed specifically for this job, parts of Bertha are now on display next to the completed transport route. But the learnings from the project will undoubtedly influence similar schemes around the world for many years to come. Number 7. Nano Engine We're often impressed by the biggest machines, but what about the smallest ones? In 2016, researchers from the University of Cambridge in England announced they had created the world's tiniest engine, one that was far smaller than the eye could see. This nano engine was capable of producing a force to weight ratio more than 100 times that of a muscle or motor, and the intent was that collections of these could be used to make nano robots that could enter cells in the body. It was made from nanoparticles of gold that were held together by gel particles and can act as a piston or a spring, despite being no more than a few billionths of a meter in size. This could one day be looked upon as one of the most momentous inventions ever, because if it leads to new ways to enter and fix the building blocks of the body, it could transform medicine as we know it. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top Fives with notifications on. Number 6. Arcade Deluxe Have you ever played on an arcade machine and wished it could be bigger? Well, that's exactly what Jason Cambrus from Chicago thought and it led him on a two-year quest to build the largest arcade cabinet ever. His final design was 14 and a half feet tall and three and a half feet deep, which means it was taller than an African elephant and could fit 112 bathtubs of water inside it. It's fully functional too, with the option of more than 200 classic arcade games, as well as the ability to hook up a modern console to the screen. And everything is controlled by using supersized buttons and a 16-inch glass trackball. This machine is so big that it dwarfs the standard arcade cabinets and anyone who stood next to it, and you have to climb the pull-out staircase to even be able to reach the controls. Number 5. Aluminum Extrusion Press Aluminum is an extremely useful material, but if you want to make a large object from it, you need what's known as an aluminum extrusion press. These machines exert huge amounts of pressure onto metals and force them into the required shapes, and surprisingly, the biggest one in the world was built in the 1940s. It was originally used by the German military to make aircraft components for the war effort, but it's now been shipped to the U.S., where a company called Universal Alloy Corp. has retrofitted it for their business in creating aluminum alloys. The 122-foot-long machine has been upgraded with state-of-the-art hydraulics and can extrude a force equivalent to 16,200 tons. This, along with the ability to heat the metal to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, means that the machine can push the metal through a die of whatever shape is required, in a similar way to the modeling clay toys that kids play with. All that's needed then is to cut the shapes at the required length, cool them down, and then products are ready. By using a machine like this, the company streamlined its manufacturing process and can produce far more than any other machine in the world is capable of. Number 4. The Grand Telescopio Canarius the Gran Telescopio Canarias is a telescope located at the Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands, and it's the largest single aperture optical telescope anywhere in the world. This giant machine took more than seven years to build at a cost of around $150 million, and it achieved first light in 2007 and began full operations by 2009. 
The reflecting mirror is 34 feet 1 inch across, and this gives an effective collecting area of 845.4 square feet. Its focal length is just over 557 feet, and there have been nine different instruments that have been attached to it since it opened, each of which adds functionality to allow researchers to focus on specific wavelengths and parts of the sky. To get as clear a view as possible, uninterrupted by light pollution and the atmosphere, the telescope was built near the volcanic peak at the center of the island at an elevation of 7,439 feet above sea level. It was designed, funded, and built by the Spanish government with assistance from Mexico and the University of Florida and is currently operated by representatives from the three. Since opening, the telescope has provided huge amounts of data about black holes, star formations within our galaxy, and beyond. It has even spent some time trying to detect signs of civilization beyond our own solar system. In combination with the measurements taken from other facilities around the world, it's been crucial to the recent advances in understanding of the wider universe and our place within it. Number 3. The Largest Rube Goldberg Machine The chances are you've seen a Rube Goldberg machine before. They're contraptions that are purposefully designed to perform a relatively simple task in an overly complicated way. Normally, this involves a series of devices that are unrelated to each other apart from the fact that their ultimate function is to trigger the beginning of the next one, and they've become popular things for hobbyists and video creators to put together. The biggest Rube Goldberg machine ever devised, however, was a much more complicated undertaking. It was built in 2016 for the Latvian town of Riga as a way to turn on their Christmas lights that year, something everyone agreed was far better than inviting a little herd of celebrity to do the honors. The machine was started by the mayor of the town who pressed a big red button, and this began the series of 412 steps, which included wheels, levers, balls, a fan, a coffee maker, and much, much more. It took just over 10 minutes for everything to run its course, and the audience's patience was worth it because not only did they see a world record taking place in front of them, but they were also treated to a stunning light display once it had finished. Building a machine like this isn't simply a case of randomly putting objects together, however, and it took a team of experts more than two months to plan and build. They smashed the previous record and set a very high bar for anyone planning to do the same. Number two, the ISS. As machines go, there really are none as unique as the International Space Station, and it's thought to be the single most expensive thing ever built, at an estimated cost of $150 billion. It was conceived and built as a collaboration between five of the world's biggest space agencies, America's NASA, Russia's Roscosmos, Japan's JAXA, Europe's ESA, and Canada's CSA, and access to it is protected by intergovernmental treaties. It's actually the ninth space station to have been inhabited by humans, and as of late 2019 has been visited by 239 people from 19 different countries. It was first conceived as a replacement to the Russian Mir space station, and the first ISS component was launched in 1998. It is a modular design, which means different parts could be sent up individually and connected when in orbit, the last of which was an inflatable space habitat that was added in 2016. In total, the ISS is currently 239.4 feet long and 357.5 feet wide and has a pressurized internal space of 32,333 cubic feet. There's room for up to six people to be on board at any one time, and it orbits at around 254 miles above ground level. The ISS travels at a speed of 17,100 miles per hour and completes a full rotation around the Earth in just under 93 minutes. The use of the space station has changed from the original intentions, as it was originally agreed that it would be used as a laboratory, observatory, and a factory which could also provide transport, maintenance, and a platform to launch further missions deeper into the solar system. The latter plans have yet to come to fruition, but in 2010 it was also agreed that it could serve commercial, diplomatic, and educational functions, things that it continues to do today. It's most well known for the scientific research that takes place on board and provides power, data, cooling, and crew to conduct zero-gravity experiments. Electrical power is provided by the double-sided solar arrays, and all other resources are taken to the station on regular supply missions. It's arguably the most ambitious machine ever created and speaks to our sense of exploration and discovery. Current plans are for the ISS to remain in operation to at least 2030 so the decision of what might come next will have to be made soon. There have been suggestions that part of the ISS will form the basis of a new station, or that governments are hoping private companies will take on some of the cost burden for the next space station. 
It's surely only a matter of time until we find out, and what's decided will plot the course of space exploration over the next few decades. Number 1. The Large Hadron Collider The Large Hadron Collider is the biggest machine ever built by humankind, so it's quite fitting that such an endeavor was undertaken to understand some of the biggest questions about physics and the universe. In simplistic terms, it's designed to speed particles up to near the speed of light and then collide them into each other before measuring what happens as a result. It's based at CERN in Switzerland and took 10 years to build with the assistance of more than 10,000 scientists, countless research institutions, and more than 100 different countries. Once finished, the machine filled a 17-mile circumference circular tunnel that was buried as much as 574 feet beneath the ground and cost an estimated $4.75 billion. Since opening in 2008, the Collider has been a success. It found evidence of a theoretical particle called the Higgs boson and has now moved on to attempting to solve other unknown mysteries that could unravel our understanding of physics. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.